All right, so we're going to go back to frame one. I have to bring these tentacles down a little bit. Okay, so for each of these, we're going to go ahead and do an attachment constraint. So we'll select one, animation constraint attachment. All right, so I'm going to rotate this down. Remember, attachment constraint only affects the position, not the rotation. And we're going to have to play around with these a little bit until we get to the, the torus there in the middle. All right, here we go. Looks like we're working our way around it now. So I'll go with this one. Just adjust our pivot here, make sure it's going down. So it looks like about 700 is where they're starting. So that will be a starting point for me when I attach this next one. So animation constraint, attachment constraint. Okay. We'll go to start at 700. And I wonder how far back it goes. Oh, we're st started at around 700. So we're going to just keep working our way around. And we'll set this guy right once he comes back down here. There. Rotate that down. Check these angles. Looks good. Rotate it a little bit, offset it, and we'll do the same thing for this guy. Animation, constraint, attachment, constraint. All right. Set this to start at 850. Keep going. Right past that fella. And right about here will be fine. Let's see how that looks. All right, so looks like this is set on a bad face. We're getting a lot of rotation out of this one. All right, so to solve that, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our front view. And we're going to create another helper object. All right, we'll just set it in the center. Set it to zero. Move this down. What we'll do is we're actually going to set a look at constraint for these, so to kind of control the rotation. So no matter where those vertices go, these guys will always be looking at this fella here. So we'll select one animation constraint, look at constraint, we'll set it to here. Set keep initial offset, animation constraint look at, look here again, again with the keep initial offset, and another one. Animation. All right, so that solves that issue. Oops. We take another look at this if we want, see how everything's looking. It up a little bit. Start them from about here. Hit play. All right, so it looks like everything's coming together. We're at the point now too where we can start stage in this. We'll render this fella off, and we'll render off the tentacles. So to get this started, um, we'll start with the jellyfish overall look. So we can go to our material editor. Right, for this we're we're not gonna do anything that fancy. Start with a bit of a green look to the face. We'll add a little bit of glossiness to it. Maybe not so much there. Again nothing fancy at all for this. Uh, we'll do the same thing for these guys, except I think for this one I want to make the specular really high. So when these guys are moving around, I want them to reflect some light back at the camera a little bit. Kind of give that sparkle look to it. So select these four guys. Assign to selection. Name these. Yeah, 
Actually, just pet peeve of mine is just to set the line color to black. All right, and so I also think I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of opacity just to both of them. Just set them both to 95 so we have something to work here. I'm going to give that light look to it. That way we can see, we'll have some like opacity changing up. All right, so we're turning on the alpha, you can see where our opacity is starting to happen here. Okay, so for these emitters, right off the bat, we're going to have to select every one of them, and we're going to set them to non-renderable. So select them all, right-click, Object Properties, and turn off renderable. All right, so for rendering this object, the body, we're not going to need this light turned on. We're going to turn this off. This will be used only when uh, rendering the tentacles. So we're going to need to create a, a rough light setup here. Light, Omni Light, and put one. Go delete this camera. Find a spot where we like this camera, this view. It starts from maybe here. Go back a little bit. Right. Want to get them to end kind of over up here. See if we can watch where he's going. A little bit. Alright, so we'll leave that there. I'm just going to create a camera from this viewport. Alright, let's get this back to perspective. So this will allow me to see where I need to put my lights. So create light, standard light Omni. I'm going to set one behind him. I'm going to backlight him up a little bit, one from this back left, and one from where the camera's shining. We'll go back to frame one. We're going to link these guys to the object, or to the, our helper object here. This way they'll follow as he animates along with them, that way we don't get different lighting and flickering going on. Alright, so for the front light we'll set this to a little bit of a green haze to it. And one should be fine. For the backlight here, this would be like our rim light. Set this up to like five. And just a subtle bit of green. And this one here will it's a bit of a murky look to it. Set this to point four. Alright, so let's see what we get halfway through here. All right, render this out. Okay, so you can see the opacity here. We're getting a bit of the torus. Our light is not really hitting the rim like I'm wanting it to. So I'll move it behind here, see what happens. So there's go. Okay, so we're getting a little bit of that rim light. Okay, so we'll see how that looks. All right, so it's looking not too bad. Again, we're not going to be spending a lot of time trying to make this look like lights bouncing around, get some costs that's going on there. Uh, one problem I do see is that we're not actually seeing the tentacles very well. And that's because of two-sided. So instead of uh, going in here, we can set two-sided on each of these. And we'll be able to see them. However, there's also another option under Render Setup. You can just force two-sided. I prefer to leave that on if I know that that's exactly what we want. We don't want to have the other side looking. So, All right. So I think for the tentacles here, we're going to go ahead and make them a lot less opaque opaque here. Set them up to like 60. Make that something better. And this might do well at 90. Alright, so I'm going to just play around with the diffuse on this a little bit. Like, I think under, let's see, maybe under our bump map, we can throw some smoke. So we can just break up the color a little bit here. Come around, just lower the bump. Something very subtle. That's what we get. Yeah, that really makes the color kind of break up a little bit. That's pretty much. 
I think for diffuse, I'm going to do the same thing. We'll throw that in there as an instance. And we'll just set up some different colors here. Yeah, we're going to be doing all our color correction in the After Effects regardless, so bring around. Okay, yeah, so that, that breaks it up a little bit. Go to materials. Now it's a little bit. Okay. Okay, so I think that's going to work for our shot. Just, I want to up this one a little bit. Okay, so the post-production is really going to bring this to life. We'll add some glow so it looks like it's in murky water, stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and render this out. Render setup. I'll go through the setups real quick here. Set our range to 600. Uh, we'll move down. We're going to do this... Uh, 720 by 480. Just make sure your pixel aspect ratio is set to 1. Come down, we'll save this out. Alright, we'll make a folder called body. Fish. Uh, body. We'll set this to PNG so we get the alpha channel with it. We'll hit save. And we should be able to hit render. Okay, so our shots are going pretty quick. You kind of see the uh, the alpha that I was talking about here. This looks good. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video while this is uh, rendering away.